My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. In the past, I've taken a look at many products from the company known as Soto. Soto is a Japanese company. They make stoves, pots, pans, outdoor equipment, and so on. This is the Soto ST310MT stove. That is a mouthful and I can't believe I got that right. <laughs> it actually came out right, so that's pretty good. This is a stove that is not being offered by Soto in the United States, but you can import it. In fact, there's a company on Amazon that has imported this and you can actually buy this on Prime which is pretty impressive. Otherwise, you can import this on eBay if you want to. Now, there are a few versions. We'll talk about that in a second, but why don't we go ahead, let's take a look at this stove, and we'll go over its functions and features. If you order the Soto stove, this is what you will receive. You get this storage bag. And this is the stove, my friends. And as you can see, this has an interesting design to it. You have four legs, a heat shield. The legs fold and lock into place just like so. It kind of looks like a spider, doesn't it? On this side, you have the adjuster and you have the Pezzo igniter down at the bottom. With the heat shield, this covers and protects the fuel canister. In this case, this stove runs on butane. Up at the top of the stove, you have the head. And as you can see, there is no windscreen with this stove, but there are accessories that you can purchase. And I'll talk about those in more detail in just a moment. Again, it runs on butane. And connecting the fuel to the stove is fairly easy. You simply put them together and then turn it and that locks it into place, just like so. So you turn to disconnect, turn to lock it. Very, very simple. I'll do that one more time from this angle so you can see all the different angles there. With this butane canister, you can see that I have a cover on this. And this too comes from Japan. That says Soto Labo. And that is a separate company that is not Soto. But they make covers for all sorts of fuel canisters. I ordered this last year at some point in time. And it is fantastic. Not only does it look cool, but it's also functional. It absorbs moisture as these cans condensate when you're doing a long cook. Talking about these legs for a second, I mentioned they lock into place. And you can see that they do. To unlock them, you simply push in and then you can rotate. Rotate forward, rotate back, whatever you want to do. Before I fire up this stove, let's go over some stats concerning it. First off, when it comes to these legs, these stand four and a half inches tall, and each leg is only two inches apart. So, so that basically means this. You could use any size pot or pan or cup with this stove. From the smallest to the largest, anything will work with this setup. And that's nice. When it comes to the legs themselves, you're looking at five and a half inches apart when it's all set up. Here in a minute, we'll go over the folded dimensions. This stove is primarily made from stainless steel. The weight of this stove is 11.6 ounces. The weight of the stove with the storage bag is 12 ounces. The weight of the stove with the storage bag and a full can of gas, that takes the weight up to one pound, 7.4 ounces, which is not bad especially for a stove this large. As far as the output goes, you're looking at 10,000 BTUs. And the company claims the best performance will take place above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is true when it comes to butane. I'm going to boil 200 milliliters of water for some coffee. Do keep in mind everyone that it is breezy today and this stove has no windscreen. Again, this is the adjuster. And as you can see, it can be folded out of the way. Down here below it is the igniter. Less than two minutes to boil, 200 milliliters of water. When it comes to this stove, I've gone over the features, but there's one that I haven't mentioned yet. The ST310MT features a micro regulator, and that allows for the stove to have a consistent level of performance, and it doesn't matter how full or how empty the canister is. This is important, and it's a nice feature to have, because with some stoves that lack those regulators, the performance will suffer greatly as the canister begins to empty. It's all about pressure. Going back to Soto for a second, let's talk about some of the products that they've made that I've reviewed. There's the ST320 stove, which is a cassette stove that runs on butane. That is 
one of my most favorite stoves of all time. It is highly unique. It is a fantastic performer. You have to have it imported, but it is well worth the money. Make sure to check out my review of that stove. That is one of the coolest products that I've seen in many years, and I truly do love it. Soto as a whole, they make very good, high quality products. In fact, I can't say I've ever had an issue with any of their products. Just top notch stuff. Make sure to check out my reviews on YouTube because I have reviewed a number of their products. All of them I purchased myself. Again, the channel is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm simply sharing information, my thoughts, my perspective. Anyways, let's take a moment here and let's talk about price for a second and also the import aspect of this stove. So I have the black version of this stove. There's also a silver version. You could find the silver version already imported here in the United States and the cost of that is right around $85. If you want the black version, that is going to cost more. And the price of that varies between 115 to 130 and you have to have that imported and the best place to do so is on eBay. That's where I got this one, that's where I bought it. Coming back to the dimensions of this stove, let's talk about it when it's all full it up. So right there you have it. This is four and a half inches tall. It's about two and a half inches thick and it's about five and a half inches wide. When it comes to the ST310MT, there are all sorts of different accessories that you could purchase for this. You could customize this stove. You can get silicone leg covers that go over each of the legs so the stove doesn't slide around. You can also get a type of ignition switch that connects to the bottom that allows you to simply push down right underneath the adjuster. There's a burner pad that goes on top. There's a windscreen that you can get. And also there's at least two different types of cases that you can get for this stove. So again, there's a wide range of accessories that you could purchase. Most of those, if not all of them, will have to be imported on each eBay. I have not seen those on Amazon or anywhere else. Now everyone, let's talk about my impressions of this stove. I've had this for a few months. I've been using it. I really like this stove. I really do. It is a great performer. I personally like using butane. I think it performs very well, especially with temperatures above 40 degrees. Also, butane is very inexpensive. The build quality on this stove is excellent. The materials are excellent. The igniter is very good. It may take a couple of clicks to get it going, but it always gets going. The design of this is ingenious. I really do like the form factor of this. With the legs as is, this will slide around on a slick surface. So yeah, be careful. You may want to consider those silicone legs if you decide to purchase one of these. The BTUs is plenty for cooking, simmering, and so on. Talking about simmering, this does allow for all sorts of adjustments. I mean, you can go simmer, you can go full blast. Also, the adjuster itself has a good amount of resistance to it. It's not super flimsy like some stoves. As you go up, it gets tighter and tighter, and that's what you want. That allows you to make those micro adjustments very easily. So you don't have to worry about going too far one way or the other. Because of the design of this stove with the pot supports, you could fit any size pot, cup, pan on this. And once you have it on there, it's very stable. Talking about weight for a second, all in all, it's not bad. But if weight is your primary focus, this is not the stove for you. There is another con that we have to talk about and that is the lack of windscreen. Even though it's breezy today, the overall performance was good, but in windy conditions, you will have to have a windscreen of some sort. I plan to get the wind ring in the future to see how well that works. It's interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's very simple. I'm interested to see just how well it performs. My friends, there you have it. That is the Soto ST310MT stove. Again, I can't believe I got that right. <laughs> I have to say this, everyone. This is not my full review of this stove. I just got this in. I've only been testing it out for a few months. I will continue to test this for a long period of time. You all will see this quite a bit here on the channel, especially as it warms up here in the mountains. But so far, I really like what I see from this stove. Again, everyone, Soto is one of those companies that I have a lot of respect for. Their products are really smart, like really, really smart. The quality is excellent, and I have no problem supporting them. I do wish the company offered more in the United States because their products, again, are really interesting. If there's a product that you would like to see from this company, make sure to comment down below or shoot me an email and let me know because I will definitely check it out. For this episode, I am done. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this stove? the ST310MT. <laughs> Oftentimes you will see this listed as the ST310, not the MT part, but that is what this is. So far it's a great product. You will see more about it in the future. Make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. You can also support on Patreon or on YouTube. You can join the Wolfpack. Take care folks. Be well. Strength and honor. Bye for now.